at some point we're going to put up a guardrail, are we not? Sure. I am a living guardrail. I'm telling you about stuff I've done that worked and stuff I've done that hasn't worked mm -hmm. and doesn't have to be that way for you, but there's a very good chance it will be. Really good chance it will be because you got two eyes and ten fingers and so do I and opposable thumbs and and although in more than 1.4 million different ways you are completely your own person unlike me. But how many ways are the same? Quadrillions. Trillions oh. trillions to one. Our similarities outweigh our differences. But people say, oh no. We're all different. There's more yeah. than a million differences between one person and another. We should all eat differently. Find what works for you. Okay. Quadrillions to one. Which are you going to bet on? The similarities or the differences? Definitely. Shoot, there's so many differences between you and me. It's amazing we're the same species. It's as if we came from separate planets. Men are from Mars. Women are from Uranus? No, that wasn't it. Definitely not. Definitely not. It's as if we came from different worlds sometimes. But the similarities are quadrillions to one compared to the differences. I don't know the exact number. Yeah. It's like Okay, you're going up to bat to save the world. Do you want to do the cooked food shot, which has been an experiment that's obviously failed every single time for the last 10 to 100,000 years? Or do you want to do the raw food version that's succeeded interminably throughout history, proven by the fact that we're here? That's how biology proves if something works. Are we still here? Dodos are gone. It didn't work. T-Rex is gone. It didn't work. Cockroach is here. It's working just fine. <laughs> and they've been using raw food as we and all our predecessors used raw food for millions and millions and hundreds of millions, possibly billions of years, raw organic food. And for a couple of thousand, we've been experimenting with cooked. And we now have the chemistry and the science to prove that it doesn't, can't, will not work. You get one swing at a bat. You get one swing at the ball. If you get it right, you and your family live. If you get it wrong, you and your family and all of Earth's human population die. You want to go for the cooked food option or for the raw food option? You have a chance to win the lottery. You want to go for the cooked food option or the raw food option? I'm going to go for the one that's been like billions to one in favor of. What's the likelihood of picking the one? I mean, it could happen, but we every once in a while you meet about... I read about a guy when I was in college, he was 114 years old, he'd been smoking cigarettes since he was 12, so he had been smoking cigarettes for 102 years. He was born in 1857, but he lived to 114, smoked cigarettes for 102 years. This was like, cigarettes are good for you, obviously, this man lived to 114. Do you think? Oh, yeah? You think he ate at McDonald's much? No pesticides, no fast food. Only organic food until 1950. Mm. That's all there was, was organic. No restaurants, no fast food joints, mm. no nada. Not that black man living in South Carolina. He probably never ate in a restaurant maybe in his entire life. Oh, the cigarettes didn't come from Reynolds. He worked in tobacco fields. He rolled his cigarette from a tobacco leaf and not 187 chemical Chemicals additives. Yeah, totally different. You can't compare that. But people want to go, oh, look, he smoked. It's okay for me too. Smoke or smoke great meat.